Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we are going to be doing another drive and that drive is manufactured by ABB and it's particular to ACS ACS 150 module where again we're going to be looking at how the drives are, how the drive is running and how to set up and things like that so with the first video we are going to be doing a full commissioning of the drive and uh, doing a live test for a uh, going through the parameters how the parameter works and all, all the bits and pieces that there is to do with the front and in the second video we are going to be doing a, uh, a couple of uh, different types of controls we can do remotely which is 2i, 3i control plus we're going to be using some sort of external geometer and the third video again we're going to explore a bit more into MOP slash uh, electronic way of controlling the frequency and also we'll be exploring how to set up the multi-frequency setup as well and as usual before we get started if you guys haven't checked out my website or ebay for all sorts of different types of industrial electronics definitely check it out in the link below all the, the drive pad the part numbers of all the items i'm going to be using in uh, these videos and also all the related manuals and any additional videos that i think would benefit you in any way also going to be in the description below and as well well, if you guys have a short plus talk that you want to burn, definitely get in touch via eBay um, website or email. I will leave the email in the description below. Or you can find me on a uh, LinkedIn as well under the name uh, IGS Electronics. So without further ado, let's check it out what this drive is about. Alrighty, everything is all wired up. Let's have a look uh, again, as usual. Let's have a look at uh, all the uh, connector parts of the drive down here. You can have got again. I'm usually using a single phase drive. This is where your uh, uh, phase and neutral will come in, and uh, U2, V2, and W2 will be your uh, output to the motor and obviously there's a for the brake in the bottom which actually says brake on it and in here you have a uh, load of uh, digital inputs and in here you have a, a load of uh, well two normally open normally closed uh, um, uh, outputs uh, regarding when it comes down to a connector blocks uh, what you're going here is a SCR, IA and ground and plus 10 uh, volts. They are designated for analog signals, i.e. potentiometers. And then you have a ground COM and a ground uh, COM you can use in case you're going to be using a uh, different type of control in a um, ex control in your inputs externally. You can uh, that's for that one, but we are not going to be doing that. Uh, we are going to be using a uh, designated 24 volt signal where we're going to be uh, operating uh, digital inputs from uh, there, where they're uh, uh, from this source in here, and he's got five digital inputs, quite generous, quite nice. I like that, and that's when it comes down to it, uh, to, to uh, uh, the front uh, terminals, and obviously, you've got the speed controller when I mean, you are in a local mode. And let's get to the menu. The menu is obviously start, stop. Self-explanatory, you'll be able to run that for a uh, um, uh, in a local mode. Uh, up and down buttons to go in between the menus. This one in here, is, this one in here is for the local and remote, and this one is here for direction. Again, if you are using that in a local control. And let's get to the menu. In the menu, is as you can see, uh, reset or exit or menu or enter. And there's a couple of things about the menu we can talk about to enter the menu just press enter there's a couple of only about one handful of pages first one opens up is a parameter changed every time you enter parameter change and you have a, there's a full list of all the parameters you have changed from a default and show that in a minute that will disappear once you're going to do the factory reset the next one is parameter long where there is a ton basically all the groups of ABB drive uh, parameters you enter it and you can see it, 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 it's the easiest way to understand if it says 1 and 2 which means it's going to be 1200 so if you enter it, you can see it starts from 1200 if you go above that will be 1300 and pretty much so on it will be 2100 that's how you pretty much uh, quickly get uh, to the designated or needed parameters and there is ton of parameters that you can play with this drive is full of all sorts of functions and uh, nifty nifty things that you can do and even use the software where you can preset this drive for your own uh, communications and on oh, communications and your own macros 
which we're going to get to in a minute and uh, where you can do it uh, in, a, in a program it, uh, for the software that we probably one day are going to have a look at it as well and then you get the short version of the parameters in this parameter group is pretty much all the parameters you will need to set an asset driver up pretty much get you going and that is all there is when it comes down to all the parameters hopefully that makes sense and uh, uh, sort of gives you insight how to navigate yourself through the menu and if let's just uh, if you want to change any of the parameters uh, let's go to let's say this one you want to change it click enter again until the set button appears on the screen now you are able to change your uh, parameter and press enter again and it will save and set will disappear and it will exit that part of the uh, uh, parameter you already did back to a uh, parameter numbers which are there and then you can carry on to that next load of parameters so i think that would more or less cover what there is about this drive so the next thing we are going to be doing is we are going to be doing a full factory reset and for the full factory reset all we need to do is the uh, enter let's just exit that one uh, go into a s we've got the small parameters uh, 9902 Enter that one. The first one you're going to be able to see it's, it's it stands under zero, and basically that is called their uh, macro group. I'm not sure do I have the page. No, I don't have. Basically, in here you select what macros you're going to be using. Later on in the videos and other videos, we're going to be looking at a bit of remote controls. So we're going to play with some of those macros. But macros is basically where uh, the dry the ABB has. Uh, set up the most common applications that there is and they sort of uh, set up all the parameters and collect them in, in, in all one group so all you need to do is pretty much select uh, that group and it will pretty much do all the parameters for you and uh, those macro groups there's about five or six of them and plus you can still do your own macro groups if you wish to with software or within the drive if you wish to do that and the first one in the macro group is pretty much that the number one means means uh, when you enter that macro group, all the uh, ABB default parameters will be defaulted to factory settings. So that's all you need to do. Enter it, any pretty much wipe the whole thing clear. And to check that, if you go to the parameter check, as you can see, none, none uh, parameters has been changed because we just did full factory reset. Okay, now that we've done that, so let's start setting up the drive. So the first way we enter the group, we're going to go through the parameters that the ABB considers the ones you should be looking at. And the first one we're going to be going to, which is an S group. And uh, the first one is a, pra, is a macro group where you're going to be selecting your macros. But we're not going to be touching that today because we are going to be doing a local run. We'll get through them in the next video. The next one is a 105, which is a motor rated voltage. That's correct, 230 volts whichever motor you'll be using. The next one is a motor rated current. My one is 1.9, which already is entered. Next one is the motor rated uh, frequency, which is a 50 Hertz. And there's a couple of more you can uh, edit, but you need to go in a different group, which ABB doesn't con has not considered that to be a necessity, which where you can use a, a set of motor rated uh, speed at 9908, which is in RPM. And you can say also edit in a 9909 where you can edit your kilowatt rating as well. But uh, as the motor already knows what kilo uh, amps is using, it pretty much knows what he's working with. But if you want to fine uh, fine tune it to better understand, so the drive understands the motor better, you are more than welcome to do that. And the next one is 1105, which is a uh, uh, rate of uh, drive rate of frequency. It's pretty much where which country you're running. Is it 50 or 60? We are in UK. We are. 50 and the next one is a 202 which is a uh, 202 203 and 204 and on onwards from uh, there on you can get about seven different speeds it basically select your uh, multi frequency setup again that's going to be in the third video of this setup the following is a 1301 uh, we're not going to touch that that's due to the analogs and uh, then there is a 2008 which is our max uh, frequency, 208 is a max frequency, pretty much where, uh, uh, how much of a potentiometer you can uh, 
basically the max frequency you're going to be running the motor which you can set all the way to about 400 hertz i believe which you're going to leave at 50 because that's your motor uh, rated frequency and the minimum frequency can be set up in parameter uh, 2007 if by any chance you want to make sure that the frequency doesn't go below a certain amount you can do that in a uh, uh, 2007 and also if you want because the motor is already has the drivers already has what the, uh, the rated current of the motor is but if you want to protect motor better you can edit the overload settings in parameter 203 where we will trip out the motor if it reaches a certain amount of current trip out the drive if certain uh, reaches a certain amount of current uh, you can do that in a 203 so we're not going to be doing that and uh, the next one is a 2102 is a stop function we're not going to touch that as well that won't be uh, that's just for the stoppage and the last two we're going to look at is a is a 2202 which is our which actually I'm going to edit if this is our acceleration I'm going to put that to one second because I can this is a acceleration the acceleration is down to your application of what sort of application you and how you want the man uh, the motor to stop fans and things like that there's there's all sorts of different things uh, different applications so these these parent these two parameters are playing a vital a uh, role in how your equipment is running and how healthy it's going to be in the long run and that ladies and gentlemen it is uh, it returns back to 9902 for the macro menu and you are pretty much ready set and good to go pretty much and because you are in a uh, local mode already uh, all you need to do is press the start and your motor is running so and you use this front little potentiometer to do your uh, uh, pretty much your speed control and you can use that one as you can see we'll just spin the opposite way even shows in there where it goes which way it does and that is pretty much we have oh, we have set the, the motor up and is ready to go. There's a couple of other parameters I would like to talk to, but we are sort of out of time. You can, there's a, which I have uh, been trying to do in other videos as well. There are parameters that are for noise control, which where we can remove the noise from the motor if there is any. Uh, but we will see if we can look at those parameters uh, in next video because the, those parameters are not necessary. Uh, to get the motor going and this is pretty much for fine tuning other than that ladies and gentlemen this will be it regarding a local setup and uh, commissioning of the abb s uh, what it was the acs 150 so in the next video we're going to look at that and how to run the drive in remote control so if you like the video please like if you don't dislike a comment below any questions and things like that uh, do leave them in the comments below and i will answer them as soon as i can and other than that, I will thank you very much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.